Hello, my name is Clément Escoffier and I'm going to demo Stork and its integration into Quarkus. Stork is a service discovery and load balancing framework and in Quarkus it's integrated with a REST client, gRPC client, GraphQL client and so on. You will use Stork when you need service discovery and advanced service selection strategies. In this demo, I'm going to reuse the uh, Superheroes sample application from Quarkus uh, it's a simplified version uh, focusing really on stock and the stock integration. So we have the UI, which is calling a fight service using uh, a REST API. This fight service is calling two types of services. The first one is a VLAN service, which provides um, soups about the bad guys. Um, the other service or type of service used by the fight service are the arrow services. And in this case, I have three instances of uh, hero services. I have one providing heroes from the Marvel universe, one providing heroes from the Star Wars universe, and one providing heroes from the DC Comics universe. This uh, selection and this discovery and selection will be handled by Stork. So in the first part of the demo, I'm just going to use a static list, having all the addresses of my three uh, uh, hero services instances. Um, it's pretty convenient when you have a static architectures or for development time. So let's have a look how it works. I will switch to my IDE, here it is. So the first thing you will need to do is to add the dependencies, adding the stock service discovery you need. In my case, I need two. I need the static list, which we will be used first, and I also need console for the second part of this demo. One thing to keep in mind is that if you want to integrate stock with a REST client, you need to use the reactive REST client. And so you need to have that dependency here. The REST client is very similar to the other REST client you did uh, before. The only difference is that it's used uh, a base URI that starts with a stock column slash slash prefix. This indicates that every call to that REST client will delegate the discovery and selection to Stork. Um, this part of the URI is the name of the service, which will let us configure um, uh, which type of service discovery and load balancing we want. So this is done in the application properties part and a file. And here we have quarkus.stork.error service. So the part of the URI, and we indicate the type of service discovery we want to do. And in that case, I want to use a static list. So I set static and I provide the list as a second attribute. This is a comma separated list of my three instances. So Marvel, Star Wars and DC Comics. Um, let's see if this works. So I have my uh, browser here and my application running here. So here you have the three arrow services which are, are running. Uh, here we have the fight service and here's the VLAN service. So let's have a look. If I call new fighter, yep, there it is. Um, we got new fighters and here you see we have uh, Iron Man. So we have Marvel. If I call another time, we have Star Wars, another one, we have DC Comics and Marvel again and so on. This is because as we didn't configure any uh, service selection strategies, Stork will use a round robin. So it will just iterate over the list of addresses and go back to the first one when it reach the end. Um, the rest of the application works as usual. So yeah, here it's oh, now, okay, run and one. Um, let's have a look if we can get an arrow winning. Ooh, uh, oh. we have pretty, ah, this one, we are going to win. So Superman won. So the static list discovery is very useful in development or when you have static ar architectures, but with the cloud or with more dynamic type of application we are building today, we need uh, something only this dynamism. Uh, for this, we are going to switch to console. So I need to go back to my IDE. And because I already added the dependency in my POM file, I just have to come here and say, I want to use console. I don't need to configure anything else. I can even remove this attribute because basically Stork will say, oh, no, it's console. It will look up for the services name, arrow service in console, find the set of instances and do the one robin on this set of instances. If I go back to my application uh, here and I refresh, up, 
it will restart and now we are it's using console so every time i get new fighters instead of being the static list it's now using uh, the one registered in console um, that's all i have for this first part of the demo we will i will come back for the second part of the demo where i will demonstrate um, how you can use stock in openshift with more advanced selection strategies In this second demo, we are going to see how you can use stock service discovery and load balancing capabilities on OpenShift or Kubernetes. So we are going to use the same demo as we did in the previous uh, demo, uh, except that we are going to deploy it on OpenShift. So we have our Arrow service instances from the different universes that we have, so Marvel, Star Wars, and DC Comics. And unlike in the previous demo, they will be deployed on OpenShift and so be served behind a Kubernetes service, which will be named REST Arrows. Unlike traditional Kubernetes application, where you just reference the REST Arrows um, uh, DNS name from your application and Kubernetes will do the discovery and load balancing by doing a simple round robin between the instances, here we are going to use Stork to customize the service selection. So Stork will connect to the Kubernetes service to find which pods are behind. So we will find Marvel, Star Wars, and DC Comics. But instead of doing the traditional round robin, it's going to use a custom um, service selection strategy. And that service selection strategy will try to see if we have our favorite universe available. And in that case, use that uh, service instance. So let's see how to do that. So the first thing we need to do is to implement our service selection. This is done using two classes. Um, so you need an implementation of the load balancer provider. Um, and the cl implementation class will be annotated with the load balancer type. And we say that the type will be arrows. We are going to reuse that arrows string inside the fight service implementation or configuration. We can also define configuration attribute. Here we need to have the favorite um, attribute um, or indicating which one, which of the universe is my favorite universe. So um, once we have this, we have just that method. So the create load balancer uh, method that will create a new instances of load balancer and the load balancer is just this implementation. Uh, it receives a configuration. So here I want to have my favorite universe. And the core of the implementation is this method here. It's named select service instance. Every time we do a service lookup, um, it receives the collection of instances. So of course, if we have no instances, then we need to fail saying, well, there is no instances. We can't really use or select the right one. Then we are going to traverse that collection and see if we have one matching our um, favorite universe. In that case, we are going to use it. And unfortunately, if that instance is not available, then we are going to just pick a random one. Something to keep in mind, and that's how it works, is that we are going to use instance.getLabels. Um, Stork automatically attach labels to service instances. These labels are extracted um, uh, differently depending on the service discovery technology you are using. So for example, on console, I think it's tags, on Kubernetes, it's the labels, and things like that. Once we have this um, um, service selection implementation, we build it, we have it as an artifact, then we need to use it. And to use it, we go to our fight service pom.xml and we are going to add the dependencies. In addition to that, we are going to use the a Kubernetes support from Stork, so using the Stork service dependency, Kubernetes dependency. As we did in the first demo, you can also use static list for your local development and testing and just use Kubernetes in production. Um, the error REST client didn't change since the first demo. The only thing that changed is the name of the service. Uh, now it's named REST errors to match a Kubernetes service name. With this, we need to go inside the application properties of the application and configure the service discovery and selection um, of the REST arrows service. So our service discovery type is going to be Kubernetes and our service selection 
named load balancer in the configuration here is heroes. Heroes was the name we used uh, for the type in our uh, selector implementation. As we said, we also need to configure the favorite universe using the favorite uh, property. So it's done here and my favorite universe is Star Wars. So with this, we build the file service, we deploy it to OpenShift and you will end up with something like this. So this is a complete um, a superheroes uh, application deployed, um, but we are only going to look at this here, what's happening here. Normally, if you don't use stock, what will happen is that the REST fight application will use um, the REST heroes service and Kubernetes will handle the lookup and implement a round robin. Here we use stock that will uh, do the discovery, but also the selection. So if there is a Star Wars application, or the, the Star Wars implementation is available, then we are going to use that um, um, uh, service instance. As you can see, at the moment, it's not there. We don't have any pods. We only have DC commits and um, Marvel. So if we go at the application and add new, new fighters, we have only uh, the two universe. However, if I go back to my topology and I start an instance of my Star Wars, um, uh, well, the service providing arrows from the Star Wars universe, now, if I go back to my application and you, I ask for new fighters, I will only get the one from Star Wars because, well, that's a service selection we wanted. If Star Wars is there, I'm going to use Star Wars. So again, if Star Wars is removed for whatever reason, I don't have the pod anymore, then stock will react to that and remove it from the selection and we will use so now the random between the two other uh, instances. So that's all for this demo. So we have seen how you can use stock on Kubernetes or OpenShift, or you can customize the service selection. 